everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have an unboxing for you. Uh, if this looks familiar, you are right. It is from Robin at Patty Wax and Distracted by Diamonds. I am very honored that she gave me an exclusive sneak peek into one of her latest designs of diamond painting. So I'm gonna get into it with you and I will show it to you now. It is so cute. All right, so there she is. She's a little girl with puppies. And I told Robin when I saw this design, she reminds me of me when I was little because my mom would dress me in tights in the fall and um, she's got brown hair. I have brown eyes, not green eyes, but on the puppies are so cute. And there's a little birds in the sky. So this is going to be so much fun to do. Looks like a little uh, dachshund down there. Not sure what breed of dog that is, but um, I just loved her. So let's get into this. As you know, um, Robin is uh, on Etsy. Uh, you can look her up uh, under Patty Wax or Distracted by Diamonds. Distracted by Diamonds. Um, is her diamond painting company and this is where this comes from but you can find her again on Etsy I will make sure that she's linked below okay so let's get into this she always packs these things so nicely again this is poured glue so it's gonna lay flat um, I will get into the toolkit she gives you lots of extras in the toolkit there is an inventory sheet which I love because I work off these all the time they're numbered uh, the dimensions on this, this is a 52 by 75 centimeter with 40 colors, 40, wow, that's going to be fun. Another thing that she does when we get into the drills, as you can see, is she bags them uh, in individual baggies, so you don't even have to kit up, you can work right out of the baggies, which is what I am intending on doing. Um, she's got a nice protective cover here. And again, because this is poured glue, it's got a clear cover. It looks like there are rivers. There, there are no rivers. There are no bubbles. Um, that's just the plastic covering the painting. So no worries there. Let me roll it back. Ooh, I'm throwing things on the floor. So let me roll it back. Lay a little bit flatter for us. Again, this is what I do every time that there is poured glue. I'm not a double-sided adhesive fan. I have worked on double-sided adhesive paintings. But, and again, when I get it all rolled back, zhuzh, zhuzh. And now, our canvas is gonna lay up a little bit flatter. I'll probably put it under something heavy to really flatten it out. But isn't she cute? I just love her. And Robin just put her on her site today, I saw. So, um, this is out, but I got a little bit of a sneak peek, which again, I'm very honored. You've got your two thumbnails on either side of the canvas. Um, one also has the picture, um, but you've got your color list on both sides. Again, this is, you know, it's a pretty good sized painting, so um, you need it on both sides. So, there she is. I love her green eyes. Look at her little bow lips. So cute and her little jumper. This is going to be so fun to work on. It is a round, so um, Robin does a lot of her uh, diamond paintings are square, so um, this is definitely uh, a wrap. So let's get into the toolkit. Look at all, I just packed in there because she packed so much, many extra things. Okay, in the toolkit, you get a multitude of things, including, I love this because I keep a diamond painting log book where I log, um, and then I put a picture of the diamond painting that I worked on in the log book uh, up in the corner, so I remember. And so that will be awesome to put in my little log book. All right, so you've got some baggies to uh, store extra drills if you need it. Um, you get a, obviously, a diamond painting pen with a squishy, which I love because it helps save your hands. Uh, you also get a three-placer, so you can do some multi-placing because there is a lot of color blocking on here. Not a lot of confetti, maybe a little in her hair, but nothing to write home about at all. Um, you also get, uh, you get two pink waxes, but you also get a sample. She always puts a sample of her patty wax in here, and this is the super sticky patty wax. So I will definitely be using that. And an octopus sticker, crazy octopus. And um, in addition... Oh, sorry, you get your boat with the funnel, which I love. And tweezers, again, super sharp tweezers. Do not stab yourself 
please keep the cover on and keep away from small children because you can really do some damage with that thing. In addition, she always puts these in, which I love, and I keep them in my um, my little supply box all the time to use. It is a keychain. Uh, it, it has her logo on it, distracted by diamonds. I just love that logo. And again, it is a measuring tape. So if I was going to measure this canvas, which I will do to demo, okay. so yep, this is yep, this is measuring very true to size. I'll measure it from top to bottom. Let's see. Sorry if I'm getting it. Yep. Totally true to size, very exciting, and I love this little keychain, and I love her logo, so that's fun. Uh, again, canvas. Peel back this paper, very sticky canvas, no problem with the stick at all. Um, if Marlon can bring you down into the drill field so we can see the clarity of the symbols, that would be awesome. Can you hold it up like that? Will that work, Marlon? Yeah, just hold it there. Okay. Very clear symbols. I'm not gonna have any trouble. There's some letters, there's some numbers, there's also just some individual symbols, but she didn't put any next to each other from what I can see that are very similar. So I'm not gonna have any trouble with this canvas whatsoever. It is extremely clear as usual. And like I always say, Robin works so hard to make sure everything about these canvases are right for her customers. And um, you know, again, Deepen this thing up with this cover. All right, let's start it. Um, just lay it down like that, and I'll straighten it out in, in a bit. But um, she painstakingly um, does these canvases. She'll send them back if they're not right, um, which is a reason. And I know some of you have been frustrated. Oh my gosh, I can never find anything on her site. Well, again, she is. This is her business. She does all of this herself, along with her husband Ben. So. Um, you know, they, they're not working at a factory. They're working um, out of the house and um, to, to get these diamond paintings listed on the site. So uh, check her out. Just again, I go to her, I go to her shop probably daily just to see what she's got. And sometimes I'll luck out and she'll have some paintings in there. I bought another painting of hers yesterday. So um, they will be there. Just have patience and keep checking. All right, let me flip her over and we will look at the drill. Okay. Sorry about the crinkling. You know, you know, you know the you know the drill. Turn down your phone, turn down your TV if you don't like it. Oh, I just love that she's got all of these baggies, individual baggies. All right, so we got 3865. You are gonna be living that life for sure. 152, 161, grayish blue. 310, you're gonna be living a little 310 life, but not as much as the 3865. Uh, this is Ecru, and she does have Ecru on um, her inventory sheet and on the schematic, it does say Ecru. Um, 3756, that beautiful mint, light, light mint green, uh, whitish color. That's so pretty. All right, here we go. Tan, 3863. 38.59. Ooh, look at that turquoise. 38.48. That's gonna be pretty. A pinkish, peachish color. 38.24. 38.14. Another beautiful tealy green color. 9.18. Kind of a brownish, cinnamony kind of color. 9.02. A maroon. 815, uh, another uh, shade of maroon. 890, here we go with the greens. You know, there's a lot of green in this painting, so we're gonna be working with several shades of green. 758, 783, 801, brown. There's another cinnamon, 816. Uh, 720, which is an orange. Lots of colors in here. Uh, 676, a yellow. 666, everybody's favorite. Beautiful red. 647, a grayish greenish color. 498, another shade of maroon. Or cranberry. Oops, dropped one. Hang on. Okay, 413, a deep gray. 
353, a peach. 597, a very unusual blue. I like that color a lot. That's pretty. 315, brownish, cranberryish color. 319, another dark green. 349, another beautiful red, very close to 666, but a different shade. 352, another kind of peach color. Almost done, almost done. Okay, down here. All right, we've got 3815, another green. 3823, a light yellowish color. 3328, kind of a brownish, peachish, you know, <laughs> a lot of these are kind of a mix. Um, this is a taupe, 3743, 3774, a light peach, 3778, 3041, kind of a cross between a gray and a brown, 159, pretty light blue, and 154, a deep brown. So those are all of your colors. I'm going to clear them off right now. Hopefully not toss any on the floor so you can see the image again. She is so stinking cute. Love her. Thank you again, Robin, for uh, sending this to me. I will have so much fun working on her. Look at the puppies. I just love them. Um, and again, just again, the art on these is incredible and they're all very, very different from uh, what I'm used to seeing. So Robin, I appreciate you more than you know. It's another stellar uh, canvas to work on and I will be working on uh, this very soon because she is too cute. All right, I am going to leave you with that. Um, again, stock her Etsy shop, and I will, again, make sure I link it below, but you, you have to go back and continually check. I know it sometimes can be frustrating, but again, during these times, people are slower to get things, places, and, and the like, but you can. It is possible to find them, um, and, uh, but you just have to keep going back. All right. Before I leave you, I'm going to remind you, as, as I do, uh, try to every single time, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.